Thanks for sending in your video. It looks like you have a pretty nice day out there in the mountains. So we'll jump into things here with your setup. So it looks like you have about a mid iron in your hand there. So your setup's a little bit, feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width, which is excellent. Um, overall, your center over the ball, you seem to be quite balanced. You also appear to be quite relaxed uh, in your setup there. So those are all good things. So a couple key things I want to point out to you. So um, when taking the club back, so the first, uh, well, these are just some positions for your reference. So first position would be in a spot where the shaft is parallel with the ground there. Um, we'd also describe our second position, so position two in the golf swing, to be a position where your left arm, so your straight left arm, your lead arm in the golf swing, is in a spot where it is then parallel with the ground. And then your shaft will start to get a little bit farther behind you there as well. So taking the club back, moving into position one, you're in a you're in a reasonable spot from your face on shot here. So you're still quite balanced. You haven't really, you haven't made a move off the golf ball. So you're quite balanced there. Shaft gets parallel. Then moving up into position two, um, left arm's able to stay pretty straight. So that's that's good there. Now, when you get to the top of the swings, when you get in a bit of trouble there. So as you're moving away from the ball here, so you're rotating your hips, you're rotating your shoulders, everything's sort of moving away, rotating this direction. As soon as you get to this point in the golf swing, your hips stop rotating and your shoulders, for the most part, stop rotating, which then leaves your hands to be the only thing that's able to continue in the golf swing. So now when this happens and your hands are the only part of the swing still moving, they're going to collapse. So they're going to move towards your head. So you'll see as soon as you get to the top here, your hands, hands are almost touching you. And the shaft um, from the golf clubs, actually, it's almost touching you on the um, on top of your back there. So it's a key fundamental in the swing I want to talk to you about. It's called width. So width refers to coming back, the distance between the shaft of the club and yourself. So as you reach uh, just past position two here, you still have a lot of width. Uh, width helps to keep the hands fairly high in the golf swing, helps to keep your hands fairly in front of your chest, so it's a much more stable, controllable um, position. But for yourself, as soon as you get your hands past here, there's no more width. Um, hands have come towards the head, shafts come towards your... Um, towards the top of your back there. So our width is gone. This club also extends quite a long way past us and it's difficult to control the club from this position. It's a difficult spot to recover from. It'll create a lot of inconsistency on your downswing and in your strike. So really in short here, what I'd want you to do, shorten up your backswing. Um, you're still gonna get your full, full shoulder rotation. Let me draw that a little better. So full shoulder rotation. You're still going to get your full hip rotation, just really just going to control the hands here. We're just going to keep them in a spot that still gives us some width and keeps our hands nice and out in front of us. So really, shorten up your swing. You'll be in a much more stable position at the top. You keep your hands a little bit more in front of you, and more importantly, you'll maintain your width, which helps to create power in the golf swing. All right?